parts of the body and it increases the blood flow in the feet. So this can help, especially if you do it with the wrapping and with the body heating the way we're going to show today, it can help with colds, cough, flu, those kind of contagious diseases. It can help to increase the body temperature and fight those off. It can help with headache. Even if you don't wrap the body, just putting the feet in hot water, like we just said, it can relieve the congestion in the headache and it can take that away. It can help with menstrual cramps. Most of the time, those cramps, there's a lot of congestion in the abdominal area. So if you put the woman's feet in hot water, it can really relieve that pain. And it can even stop a nose bleed. Why? Think. Why would it help nose bleed? You're not treating the nose, you're treating the toes. So why would it help? The blood flow ah, so if you want to make the blood flow here, this will constrict the blood vessels here, right? Blood flow mm. will be more here, and so it can help that to stop. Amazing, really? You would think it would have nothing to do with the nose, but God made our body like that, very connected. Okay. It can also help with body pains. You're heating the body. It's going to relax and it's going to clean out that pain, relieve fatigue and nervous tension. Relax. And it can warm the body. If you have somebody who's too cold, they don't want to take a cold treatment or they don't want to take massage, you give them a hot with that. They'll feel warm, relaxed. Now they can take the massage. So it can be used in so many ways. We can't even list them all. But if you understand how this treatment works in the body, God can show you if there's a different situation where it can also be helpful, right? God will teach you things that I don't even know to teach you. But we have to understand the basic principles very clearly. Now there's a few cautions. First of all, if you have a cancer or an area where it tends to bleed and it won't stop bleeding, don't put that in the hot foot bath, right? Suppose if you have a foot worm, and it just won't stop, it won't heal, it keeps on bleeding and bleeding, you want to put that in the hot water? No. Huh. It's simple, right? We understand why. It will make it bleed more because all the blood vessels will open. And so <laughs> we don't need to do that. It doesn't really make sense. Okay, if somebody cannot feel, like if they have diabetes, peripheral neuropathy, their feet, they can't feel anything, right? So you want to use only mild heat if you're going to give hot food back to that person. Why? Sorry. Why? Because you don't want to cook them. If they can't tell what's too hot and you just put foot, you just put heat nicely, tell me when it's too hot, their skin can peel off and they don't know. Mm -hmm. Afterwards they'll know, but you don't want to do that. So if you know that they can't feel properly, you have to keep the heat in mind. Just, it's perfectly practical, right? And if anyone has if an infection, suppose you have a, an ulcer, a sore, an infected wound, and you're doing treatment on that area, you'll make sure that everything you use is very, very disinfected afterwards, that you don't spread that infection to others. So that also is simple, practical, right? It makes sense. If I use my food bucket for you, and you have some contagious disease, and then I take it and give go to her, then she's going to get. So just be very clean if you're working with infection of any kind. Okay? That makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking now, and I am going to turn this um, treatment over to my expert assistants. <laughs> okay, so we are going to demonstrate our hot food button. So we have gathered all the other equipments uh, that we have, a bucket of hot water, and uh, we also have a mug to put the, either the hot water or cold water. And also we have a bottle of water so that we can keep the client um, hydrated or to spray. And other things we have a bucket of cold water to put on the head mm. of our client. 
and also we have um, kettle of hot water so that we can put during the treatment. And other things we have is a small tongue so that we can keep it under the bucket so that they do not get wet around the floor. And we also have another tongue which we will be using during the treatments when our client is sweating. We can dip this into cold water and wrap it around its neck. And other we have is a bed sheet and also a blanket and also we have a chair. So we are going to demonstrate it and I have a sister Marjana to help me and also I have Sir Akas to be our client. So now we are going to place all these things in order. So firstly, we are going to place this blanket on the chair. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. That reminds me of something else that you said we should share about. Like when we are doing the treatment, where should our focus be? We should be talking about, we should be focusing on the client, right? Not.
Then they won't accidentally get injured. So communication is very important. Mm. Maybe they might not understand. They don't know what they're thinking. We should also make sure that uh, when we are being, uh, going to give the treatment to our client, we need to explain to him all the things they are going to do and what is going to happen in this world. And also we need to make sure that the client visits the washroom first. Mm -hmm. Because when, we, uh, when the client is sitting and if he wants to go to the washroom, we cannot wait to go. Because uh, the treatment may be distracted. Mm -hmm. So we should send him to the washroom first and then again. I think I was away that Sabbath choir trip or something and then I came back and met her again and she said, 